Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be doing duplication glitches. Now we do have a lot of duplication glitches to get through. Oh, not a lot. There's five, five duplication glitches and they do work across a variety of versions, which I'll let you know which versions they work on before we actually um, get into the glitch. All right, and also just want to say, as always guys, don't forget to subscribe for more glitches like this and other Minecraft content. I'll very, very much appreciate it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Right, let's jump into this glitch. So we are on the bedrock edition right now so all of these uh, next two glitches work on the bedrock edition um, so that pretty much means the Windows 10, Xbox One, Wii, uh, the phones, um, all that sort of stuff so anything that's a bedrock edition these glitches will work on. Okay so the first one is very very simple so all you're going to need is nine of one item that you can turn into a block so anything that you can turn into a block so diamonds, gold, emeralds, um, anything that you kind of use resources to turn it into something else. Okay all right, so we're going to start off with nine of this item because that's how much we need to create a block of diamond, nine diamonds. Okay, so and what we're going to do is we're going to go into an anvil and we're going to put one diamond in there, just one. And we're going to go up to the rename and we're just going to remove a D. You can remove more, call it whatever you want, but I'm just going to remove that and I'm going to go pull that out. Let me pull it out, please. There we go. All right, and then we're going to go to a crafting bench. We're going to go over to the side here and you'll be able to see that I can still create a block of diamond. Yeah, but it looks kind of weird. Half of them are red and one is normal. We're just going to create that. And as you can see, my eight diamonds off to the side there are still there. Okay, and then all you need to do is just go over and turn these back to diamonds. And then you just need to rinse and repeat, guys. I would recommend keeping your inventory pretty clean. So only keeping the nine in there. It's not completely essential, but it, it does help to help the glitch along a little bit. And then you just do the same thing again, guys. Name one diamond, move on, so on, so forth. Okay, now we're going to move into a bit more of a more powerful glitch. Now, this next one, you can actually duplicate absolutely anything in Minecraft. Anything that you want to duplicate, you can duplicate. It's a very amazing glitch, but it is also very, very hard, guys, because they actually tried to patch it fairly recently, so it's actually really hard to do. It's still possible, though. Um, and also do what I quickly mentioned as well. If any of these glitches you believe to be patched, check the description um, and see if they are labeled patched. I'll try and keep that updated as much as I can. And if it's not, then let me know in the comments below that you think it's patched and I'll go check it out. And if it needs updating, I'll update it. Okay, now let's jump into this. So for this one, you pretty much need to pull the item out of the chest just before it comes back down. So for this one, this one's more simple. This one is a little bit easier, um, but we'll start off with this one first. So all we're going to do with this is push that. We're gonna go into the chest and we're gonna switch the item to our inventory quickly as possible. Now the things that you need to know for this, as soon as you open the chest, you need to know the button to go straight up to the item like that. Uh, for me, it's up on the D-pad on the controller. Um, and then you also need to know the item to switch it to the chest quickly. For me, it is Y. Okay, now we're gonna open up and we're just gonna go to the top and try and switch that down as quick as possible. Now this one I probably won't get, but I will show you how it works on the other one. They use the same basic principles for both of them. Okay, we'll try one more time. Oh, did we get it that time? No. Okay, we're a bit slow that time. As I said, very, very hard, guys. But this one is a little bit easier. Not much easier, but it's a little bit. All right, so basic setup with this one. You don't, that doesn't have to be a gold block. I just had it in my inventory, so I place it there. But you need a block with a button on it, and you need repeaters going down the back. Now, all of these repeaters are delayed fully, so you're going to need to place one, two, three repeaters fully, a redstone, another repeater fully, another redstone, and another repeater fully. Now, the note block is optional. I just have it there as a bit of a sound cue to pull the item out. Um, and then on the other side of that, I have another repeater, but it's only delayed one. Okay. Now, let's give this a go. Now, I may have to cut the video on this one, so bear with me. All right, do we have our stuff in there? No, we don't. All right, so the good thing about this one is, as I said, you can duplicate absolutely anything if you have a shulker box. So if you have a shulker box, put all the items that you want to duplicate in it, like this, and then you just use the whole shulker box and put it in the chest. Okay? So let's go ahead and chuck that in. Let's give us a go. So we hit the button, open the chest, go to the top, and too slow that time. Too quick that time. Okay, wow, wow, we actually got that very quickly. Wow, all right, um, when I was practicing, that took me a while. Okay, now we have two uh, shulker boxes just like this. Now we'll place them both down, and I'll show you the items are the exact same in both of them. 
they're all still there, okay? And they all still work. So let's just pull out these and we'll place them down just to show that they still work and everything like that. That is merge stacks. So I think you can tell they still work. Okay, and that is all the glitches for the better condition. Now we're gonna move on to some of the consoles. So the PS4 and the Xbox and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I am on the Xbox One Edition. Also, you might be able to hear some roadworks out in the background now. They just happen to come along when I'm making a video, so I can't help that. But uh, now, this next glitch that we're going to be doing, this works on the Xbox One Edition, original Xbox One Edition, and the Xbox 360, and the PS4 Edition, okay? So what we're going to do is you need two blocks of diamonds, I know, very expensive, or two blocks of iron, or two blocks of emeralds, or whatever like that that you can turn into a block. Okay, we're going to place one down the ground just like that. Okay, and now you need to know what your, uh, you need to set a picker block. So picker block can be found in the um, controls section. You just need to pick your um, button that you want. I have it set on down on D-pad. So whenever I press that, the uh, block from my inventory comes down to my hotbar like that. Okay, then you see to chuck that block up into your uh, inventory somewhere, not along your hotbar. Okay, and then you just need to pick the block. So press the button and switch along... Um, your uh, hub bar like that, okay? So it's gonna do it at the same time. Like that, okay? And as you can see, I have two blocks down the bottom. Now, all you need to do from here, do not do anything else, but just press the crafting, okay? And then you're gonna go over to the N1 over here, and you're gonna go down to diamonds, and you're gonna craft those into diamonds like that. And now, as you can see, I have 18, okay? And that block is still on the ground, so now we have an extra block if we turn those back to blocks, which can be found, um, where was it again? I thought it was in this one. Oh, right, yeah, you need a, you need a crafting bench for that. It's derp. All right, and then you just change it back to blocks, okay? Um, but now, let's move on to the next glitch. So let's just chuck this into this one for future one, which is going to be the last glitch I'm going to be showing you. That one's epic, you guys. Okay, so the next glitch we have is this one just over here. Now, this one probably isn't as good as the last one I'm going to show you, but this one works probably the best on the PS4. It does work on the Xbox One Edition as well, but it is a little bit iffy with it though, and it also works on the PS3 Edition and Xbox 360 Edition. Okay, so now all you need to do for this one is you need a lever going to redstone into a comparator. Make sure the comparator is facing that way, okay, and make sure it's turned on so the front of it's lit up like that. Okay, and then you need redstone going around it like this, okay? And then trail the redstone around this way, going to a dispenser. Make sure it's a dispenser as well. Um, make sure it's not a dropper or something. Okay, and now this one, uh, you use... It's the same as the other one, so it needs to be uh, something that you can turn into a block, like that. Um, and this one is a little bit glitchy on the Xbox One Edition as well, so yeah. Y minimum you need for this is 18 diamonds, okay? Um, but I'm just going to be chucking all this in <laughs> because uh, I suck at this one. All right, and uh, all you need to do is just hit this lever here, stand next to it, and you need to know uh, how to get to the diamonds quick and quickly as you can. So for me, it's just press LB, across one, and then down to the diamonds like that. All right, so let's just hit this. I'm going to go across to it and down, and pretty much you just want to double tap it every time that gets close to nine, okay? As much as you can. So diamonds in your inventory. I'm walking down the bottom right there. Okay, so I didn't get that time. We'll try once more. As I said, this will work better on the... Um... Okay, it looks like it kind of worked. Just then. It's a bit weird. Um, it, this will work better on the PS4 edition. Um... Come on. Come on, give me those diamonds, yo. Ah, I think it worked that time. Okay, so we did get a couple of extra diamonds that time. Okay, and then we just need to turn those back in. All right, and there we go. We got a couple of extra diamonds. And every time you want to shut this up, just click that and it'll turn off. Okay, and that's that glitch, guys. Now, for this next one, this one is very powerful as well. It's, it's very similar to the one that was on um, the better condition. This one works on the Xbox One edition. Now... If you do this glitch on the PS4 edition, it does work sometimes, very little times. But I do want to warn you guys that this glitch will sometimes uh, take all your items away that you put in this chest. So if you are on the PS4 edition, then make sure you make a copy of your save if you're going to do this glitch. Make sure you make a copy, I cannot be more clear about that. If you're on the Xbox One edition, it doesn't take away your items, there is no glitch with that. Um, and it works perfectly. But the PS4 edition, just be wary guys, be wary. 
Okay, and uh, with this one you can actually duplicate any items as much as you want. Same thing, just put all your items in a shulker box that you want to duplicate. Alright, and what we're going to do is break that one off. What? What about my shulker box? Okay, and we're back. So the shulker boxes were being very, very mean to me for reasons unknown. So we're just going to put our items in the chest like that. You can do this as well, but if you use shulker boxes, then you can put a shulker box in every single inventory slot. And in each shulker box, there'll be a whole bunch of stuff, which is crazy. Alright, so next thing you want to sort out is you need to be in offline mode for this. So when you're at the main menu, just untick the online button. And when you're in the game, double check if you're in um, offline mode. So if you jump and pause, you should just hover in the air like that. And this is the main reason on why the game, um, this glitch only works on the older editions of Minecraft, because you can turn it offline. Okay, and then if you have autosave on, you need to disable autosave, and then you want to re-enable it, okay? Like that. And then you just need to jump on top of the chest, and we're going to break it, and as soon as it breaks, we're going to pause, okay? Whoops, I was a bit too quick there. A bit too eager. Okay, like that. And as soon as it's paused like that, you want to press the guide button, and you just want to go ahead and quit Minecraft, okay? And I'm going to reload the game, and I'll be right back. Okay, so Minecraft is starting back up. Wow, that was quick. So much quicker than a new one. Wow. Alright, um, we're just going to go ahead and go into play game. No, I do not want that. Go away. Alright, and if your world appears like that with a little dirt in the corner, don't worry. It's completely normal. That's how it's supposed to look. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and start up the game. Go ahead and load. Alright, and as soon as we start in, we should have a bunch of items in our inventory, and all the stuff should be in the chest. Okay? Yep, as you can see, I have got all these items in my inventory like this. And we've also got them in the chest like this. So now we've got double of everything, and what you can do is actually just put all that in again, and you can go ahead, rinse and refresh. But just make sure you disable autosave, re-enable autosave, and then go for it again. Okay, but that's pretty much it for all these glitches, guys. Thank you so much for sticking so far into the video. And if any of these glitches helped you guys, and if you could drop a like on the video, it'd really, really be helping me out by doing so. And if you want to see more glitches and tutorials like this, then subscribe to my channel. That would also be very, very much appreciated. And, uh, yep, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.